What's up guys, Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com, bringing you kind of a cool one. We get asked a ton for this build, but it's not something that's easily obtainable out of the Fender Custom Shop. So this is a limited edition precision bass special or P-Bass special. It's an hour exclusive finish, which is surf green, which is not an exclusive color to us, but in this model it is. And we also went with kind of against the grain a little bit there, but we went with the um, natural headstock on there, not the matching, the, the normal run of these is a matching head cap on there. We chose to do that a little bit differently. So kind of got the hybrid here, which is really cool. And again, we get this, we get asked this a lot for builds where guys will want, guys or girls will want, um, or anyone out there will want a P-Base body, with a J neck, so you have the inch and a half nut width here. Uh, so the narrower string spacing, a little bit more comfortable for some players, though I like the, the wider one, it's gotten kind of comfortable to me. So a cool kind of a hybrid thing going on there, and it's available only for 2022, and it's only available outside of a master-built custom shop instrument whenever they do it as a collection run, as they're currently doing. So you got the high mass bridge on there, which is a mod that a lot of people kind of want on a bass later on. They do like the Leo Kwan badass bridges on there. This is kind of their version of it. It's called the RSD high mass bridge. A little more substantial than the vintage style bridge there. A 75J pickup in 70s position and a 6570P pickup. So we're talking about the era where kind of Fender changed over. They sold the CBS in 65. So we started seeing pickups with a little bit a hotter pickup, kind of more rock orientated sounds coming out of it. Super throaty, super punchy on that, but not overly. It doesn't remind me so much of like a, uh, like a quarter pound, like a, like a Duncan quarter pounder. Still has some articulation to it, which is nice. Alder body, uh, like I said, surf green. It's in journeyman relic finish with the red, the brown, however you want to call it, tortoise guard. Great color combination on there. So you have volume, volume, tone. So it's volume you know, for each pickup on there. Um, it's got a 60s U neck on it though. So kind of cool there that we take 70s, uh, late 60s, 70s voicing, but the early 70s U neck, so real thin. It's a bound neck, so it has the white or ivory binding on there. Lollipop tuners, which I think is just such a classic look. Love that. Rosewood board on that. Kind of straightforward from that perspective, but it is a total hybrid here. Uh, sonically, we're, we're gonna go both pickups full volume, full tone, which is cool. It's not my favorite tone on this bass, but I wanna kind of give you the, the, the bass level there. My favorite tone out of a, a PJ configuration is very close to this. We'll jump into that next. So here, uh, like I said, full volume on both pickups and full tone. <laughs> Right, so generally speaking for me, when I get into a, P, a PJ configuration, that J pickup has a tendency to really overpower the P characteristic of it. So if you hear, let's separate the two. So just P. that articulation that we normally see out of a P, although again, being a 6570 pickup in there, a little hotter than the stuff I've been demoing with the Handwound 62, or definitely in the case of our Empire 58s. But check out the kind of articulation, the attack difference we get. Just P pickup, full, full tone. Yeah, tone all the way up, J pickup all the way off.
Super, super cool. Now, just a J pickup, right? Kind of thins out a little bit, which is cool. That's kind of what you want out of it, especially if we're playing back here, you're getting a All the harmonics are in this thing is super dynamic. All right, so that's your two distinctly different sounds there. Now, when you go full, again, this is, I'm really injecting a lot of just personal preference in here, which I think you've may have come to expect out of my videos for better or for worse. But so then both of those together, right? For my attack and for my ear, that J pickup's overtaking that P. Now, I think the magic zone, and again, Totally just for me. You out there may have a very differing opinion on this. Full P and about 90% of that J pickup. We can roll a little bit of tone off of that. Yeah, that's like a unique P bass tone. It, it, if you know me, you know I'm a diehard P bass player. But I really, really like that when I get the PJ configuration. And it took me years to figure that out. I remember having like an American one of the magnificent seven PJs, and I could never get the tone that I liked out of it, because I was always trying to use them wide open the same way I would a J bass, which is cool, but I could never let, it never fit for me. I always felt like I was trying to make that sound work, and it was like fighting against me. So I'd always end up using just the P pickup in there. I'm like, why, the, why do I even have this J pickup? Other than like taking a solo or something like that, where I would be soloing the J pickup. Then I found, finally, after I sold that, we had some stuff come through the shop. I'm like, man, you know, 85, 90% of that J pickup with the P, roll the tone off, it's a real nice, unique character to like a nice take on the precision bass. So, all right, I digress. Just shut up, Anthony, and play. So let's compare that now. So just straight P pickup, right? Familiar territory. Now we blend in 85, 90%, 90% of that, maybe even like 92. Super barky there. Now, if you want to play harder, maybe you want to roll that's or like 85. The harmonics are still ringing out, and I have that tone off a little bit, right? So, a super dynamic bass. I think there's a ton of cool tones out of it. Just roll through four super useful ones real quick again. Not to make this video longer than it already is, but I'm probably well past that point. So, just P. We're gonna go tone full on at this point. Just P. So, straight normal P bass. Just J. We'll play over the breakup. Both 
together wide open. And then I think my favorite position in on a bass like this, utilizing it for what it is, full P, 90% J, about 95% tone. That's a killer. That's, this is a, a great, great bass. And again, it took me a couple years to figure out the best way to use a PJ, but did that a few years ago. So hopefully that helps you out if you have that configuration or if you're looking at this bass. So Fender Custom Shop, limited edition, P bass special. It's got a J, it's got a P, ton of 70s kind of sounds to it, but some 60s characteristics in the feel of it as well. Very, very cool. Happy these are back out. Get it while you can. I'll put links below to our in-stock Fender Custom Shop stuff when I post this up. Um, it may not be in by the time you're watching this, but give me a call at the shop, 412-343-5299. You can also email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. See you next time. Thanks.